Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of a great Google Chrome extension that I wish had been available back when I was teaching history. That extension is called eComments. You'll find it right in the Chrome web store by searching for e-comments or hit the link that I have down below in the description of this video. Now, what's this extension do? It allows you to have all kinds of pre-made canned comments and insert them into Google Docs, into Google Slides, Google Classroom, and a bunch of other learning management systems. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and what makes it different from just using the standard canned comments that are available in Google Classroom. So let's take a look. I have this document here and I'm going to use the eComments extension. So I have e-comments, I'm going to turn it on right here. And now that I have it turned on, we'll see that in my Google Doc, I have this e-comments button and I can hide it or show it at any time. And we have all kinds of pre-made canned comments available to me. And just like commenting on any other Google document, I can simply highlight here i can highlight one sentence one word one piece of punctuation or the entire paragraph highlight and then i can go in and select a comment and so i'm just going to click on the intro button here and when i do that this big comment is now inserted and you'll see these are great canned comments. These are comments that I did not write. These are pre-installed in eComments, and we'll see all this description in that canned comment. Of course, the student can hit show less and see less of it. Now, let's open these back up, and we can see all kinds of other canned comments in here. Now, maybe I wanna write my own comment. I can do that as well. So let's go up here and I'm gonna write my own comment, not using a canned comment, but I'm going to have it saved in eComments for future reuse. So let's start with uh, right here at the beginning. I'm gonna add a text comment and I can write my text comment and say something like, This is a good example of using a specific date to set the scene. And so I'm gonna call this with an abbreviation, set scene, and I'm gonna save that as a comment that I can now reuse Anytime I want to, I can just hit set scene and there it is. Now I should point out if I want to edit that comment, I'll just go back to it, hit right click, and I can go in and add more to this. So for example, I could include a link to a YouTube video that provides a good explanation of setting the scene by using dates in writing. So I'm going to show you that right now. So let's put in that link to my YouTube video that I like and save it. And now when I look at the comments, next time I go to use this comment, I will have the edited version. So let's delete that one. And let's now show comments again. And let's use my set scene. And we'll see now my comment has that YouTube video in it. So it's a handy little way to add a video into the comment. But you can also link to any other web page that you want to link to in those comments. Now, coming up, I'm going to show you how to record your own video comment. But first, I want to show you that down here at the bottom, we can change up the selection of 
comments that we see appearing here on the right hand margin. Way down at the bottom, we can go and say switch set. Now, right now, I'm using the set of comments that are designed for students in grades 9 through 12. But I could go to grades 6 through 9, 3 through 6. I could do college. I could switch it up. I can also do a custom set of comments. And I can say custom and then switch my comment set and start to add categories of comments and writing in my own set of canned comments. So I can keep adding, let's say, introduction. And then when I want to add more in there, I might put in one for conclusion. And so I've got my introduction and my conclusion. Well, I'm going to add in now my own comment for introduction. And I can just go and write it out and say, um, set scene. So the good job of setting the scene. And I'll say, save that, and that's now a part of that set of comments that I can use anytime in any of my Google Docs, in my Google Slides, in Google Classroom, or any other place where I can copy and paste text. I'm going to switch it back now. Let's switch set, and I'm going to go back to my standard grades 9 through 12 comments. Let's switch that out. And we're back to the standard comments. So now I want to show you how you can add video comments into your Google document directly by using the eComments extension. So this is perhaps my favorite part of eComments, and that is the ability to add video comments directly into your Google document. So let's say I want to use this paragraph. I'm going to comment on this paragraph and I'm going to now use the video comment option. So I select add video comment. We'll hit start recording. Now I'm recording and I can say, this is a great example of goal setting and I like how you broke this down into small chunks. Very good use here of goal setting and including goal setting that are re that's relatable in your writing. So I can say whatever I want there. I'm going to say click to watch my video comment. Now, we have the option to save it to the document or slide that I'm currently working on, or I can save it to the e-comments menu where I'll be able to reuse it on any future Google document or Google slide. Let's hit save to e-comments menu. And we'll say my... My shortcut will be relatable. And it's going to save and we'll see on my right hand side, this new video comment. I can just click. And now my students see right there, click to watch the video comment. Now there is another option for recording video comments. And that is to record a screencast using eComments. And that works in a very similar manner to what we just did using just our video camera. So again, simply highlight a section that you want to comment on. And here we can now hit this little icon to add a screencast comment. We can add a screencast comment. You can see here, I can record my entire screen, my application window, or just my Chrome tab. If you are doing this on a Chromebook, I would recommend just doing your Chrome tab. That'll be the simplest and the fastest way to do it. But if you're on a desktop, you may want to record your entire screen. And again, you can hit that share button and start recording. And this is now going to capture everything that I do on my screen. Anytime I scroll or highlight, we'll see that gets captured in there. 
and I can stop that recording. And I can say, click to watch my screencast comment. And again, I can save it to the e-comments menu or save it just to that particular document or slide. I recommend saving it to the e-comments menu because then you can reuse it as many times as you want in future documents and in future slides. And in this case here, I'm just going to call it demo comment. Hit my save button. And again, it's going to appear on the right hand side in that menu of comments with the abbreviation or the shortcut that I've just used, which is demo comment. And when we insert it, we'll see there, click to watch my screen cast comment. And so students can view those comments directly from the comments there in the Google document. Next, we're going to take a look at how you can add audio comments into your Google Documents by using the eComments Chrome extension. All right, so to add audio comments, as you might guess, it's going to be a very similar process to adding video comments. Click that Show button to open up your eComments once again, and scroll down to a section that you want to comment on. Go ahead and highlight that. And then you can go in and click on the microphone to add audio comment and hit that button, start recording. This is a great tip. I think most of us are prone to not using our time as efficiently and effectively as possible. This is something that's very relatable. And I'll say, click to listen to my audio comment. Again, I can save it to the document or slide or save it to the e-comments menu, which is my preference. And we'll say here, time management as my shortcut. And that will again appear now in the right hand side in my e-comments. Click to insert and my students will be able to click to listen to my audio comment right from their Google document. Now I've mentioned that you can use this in Google Slides and Google Classroom. In fact, you can use it in any learning management system that accepts a copy and paste of comments. So you could use it in Canvas or Schoolology if you wanted to. But let's take a look at how to use it in Google Slides and Google Classroom. So here in Google Slides, you'll see that I have the e-comments extension enabled already. If you don't see that show button pop up, you can always just go back into your Chrome extensions menu and make sure you have it turned on as I do right there. Let's hit show and we'll see here we have all of our comments from before. The same ones we had in our document are also now available here in my Google Slides. So we can go in here and we can highlight. So I wanna highlight that and I wanna go in to the beginning and click title. And now we have this long explanation about the title and a comment title right there. Now in Google Classroom, it works in a similar manner. Let's say I have here my sample announcement. Well, this time I'm going to use what's called copy and paste mode. So we're going to open e-comments in the web page. It's called copy and paste mode. And now we have this show button. And I can go in here and say, well, I want to use something about structure. So I'm going to grab that, just clicked on it. I just left clicked on it to copy it. And now I can paste it right in there and my whole comment appears. Now a great use of this if you're using this for commenting on Google Classroom assignments is you might go in here down at the bottom and add a new category and call this one Google Classroom comments hit the add button okay, and then start adding in comments that are just for Google Classroom commentary. 
it will say here, um, good use of evidence in your argument. And I might just call this one evidence. Hit save. And now I have an evidence comment that I can use. Might add another one and say something like, Remember to use a respectful tone. And so I'll just call it respect. Hit save. And now we have a comment called respect that I can copy and paste and use directly here in Google Classroom. Let's hit respect. Just click it once to copy it. Go up here and you can paste it in. And we see, remember to use respectful. Again, e-comments will work in Google Classroom, it'll work in Schoology, it'll work in Canvas, it'll work in any learning management system where you might copy and paste comments for your students or feedback for your students. So that's an overview of the e-comments Chrome extension. Again, I wish that this had been available when I was going through and trying to grade 100 essays or give feedback on 100 rough drafts from my history students. This would have saved me a ton of time. I hope it saves you a ton of time. And again, you can find it by going to the Chrome store and looking for e-comments or just click the link that I have in the description of this video.